Katana is back after the last decade or so concentrating on their barley range of cruising catamarans. The famous French ocean performance brand is back here with its first Ocean Class 50. Now let's have a quick look on board it here. It's the first time it's been displayed at the Grand Moff Boat Show. And it's a busy one, so we'll try to get around without it being uh, too crowded on board. Midships and the chain lock back here, with your, oak, your life raft, and the locker below. Uh, the port side as well, and you've got steps there up onto the coach roof. You can see this one rigged for a Genoa and self tucking jib rail option as well. A neat little hark and CLR windless option there as well, so that will disappear below deck at the touch of a button. Kept the Katana style square coach roof look, all designed in house. Massive engine rooms. Uh, here you are the um, pilot with Le Combe Schmidt. That's a, a big, good, very good reference. Mm -hmm. on the the side and uh, this is a mechanic system you know it's in standard you don't have hydraulic system on board uh, with uh, with spokes so so 57 meters standard it's 57 horsepower standard uh, no no it's option sorry option it's 45 40, 45 it's in standard yeah and this is an option this is the option okay five, seven, and the water maker on the four water maker yeah 100 five 105 uh, liters per hour <laughs> nice aft bench area with the winch controls and jammers for the main zone. So this is the new, I guess, open format of Katana, where Katana meets Bali in a way. We saw the sliding doors used on the 53, uh, but you mix those with these windows that slide right open, and you have, you know, a good three and a half meters here. Bulkhead glass that slides away to open up this whole area. And the different thing here is really having a dedicated saloon aft with a more of a relaxation sofa area forward, uh, broken up by the galley section. It's a very sort of home from home layout. What I really like in particular is this raised level forward of the mast base for a proper dedicated nav station come pilot station really. Very comfortable seat with great views out forward so you can stand your watch from in here or just be in communication with the helms person at the single helm through the glass there. Yeah, very comfortable area around here that's not actually carbonous but there is quite a lot of carbon in the boat. Standard comes with aluminium masks but this carbon bulkheads are standard, dagger boards um, but you can see there's plenty of heavy fixtures and fittings on here as well. And I haven't tried to keep it too lightweight. Uh, this is still a 13 and a half ton boat, but it is designed to take a hefty payload of another uh, up to 19 and a half tons, I believe. So this is the first boat, and uh, we're seeing it in a fully equipped mode this the what they consider to be the typical owner's 
format, so three cabin with this huge bonus hull here. And there is storage throughout this boat. A lot of attention to the use of materials and um, yeah, so incorporating plenty of storage because you know it's called ocean class for a reason. So owners can uh, go long distance, have the tanks and the payload capacity in which to do that. And then in here you have a separate heads with a ventilation port in there as well. And then the walking shower forward. So this has the two cabins format in here. It could be a bunk cabin there and you can have four plus four, I think, with the heads as well as an option. So say this one fully equipped. They start at 912,000 euros. And this one we're seeing here is about 1.2 million euros. A lot of them. So heads in this side and a shower here, but you can have a head shower incorporated to say to make it a four and four layout. This has the bunk cabins forward. Again, loads of storage wherever you look. And I think with that comes, let's say, comes some weight penalties as well. It's a lot of attention to stiff structure. Everything's laminated um, and quite a lot of carbon used as well. Um, so the whole of the roof is carbon. But it's not, it's never going to be a lightweight flyer, a uh, lightweight of, of 13 tonnes. But they've done a nice job. First katana we've seen in quite a while. Heavy tutting. 320 litre fridge and freezer is standard. So this is, yeah, this is different from containers of old with their aft helms. You have a single helm station here, which you only access from the deck itself. Uh, and slightly unusual layout in that you have the helm station wheel separating the winch area and the seated helm position. But obviously good views forward from up here over the roof to the opposite bows and you've got control for your sheets here and here and your, your running rigging all to hand. So easy to work here at the winch station as well. You have a hand on the wheel or have it on on autopilot bridle setup for the main for the main sail there rather than a full beam traveller uh, which sheets to either side of the aft sofa. Big wide side deck, see those tall dagger boards there. And a yeah, huge area really moving forward. Large trampoline and the options for the uh, seated forward cockpit. So Katana is setting up to be able to produce one of these a month in 2023 and uh, maybe even a boat and a half a month after that. Thank you.